testing. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I'll just uh, wait for folks to filter in. Good evening. How's everybody doing? Hello, hello. Cool. All right. Well, let's get started. Um, hi, everybody. Welcome back to WAD Wednesdays. This is the first one that we've done in 2018. Because, uh, yeah, I was traveling and uh, not feeling well last week. So, yeah, it's good to see y'all. And, yeah, let's play a random Doom level. Um, I still don't have any, no, any idea of how to fix the webcam freezing thing, so I'm going to leave that off for this, for this stream. But, yeah, I'm going to... You can't see it, but just believe me that I am taking my little plushy pain elemental here and rubbing its head for luck. And with that, let's hit random file and see what we get. Hippie, hippie1.wad. Okay. Uh, this is the level from 1995 by Jim Davis. I assume not Garfield creator Jim Davis, although that would be quite a trip. Pretty common name, though. Uh, all right, yeah, let's play hippie.wad. Um, this is for E1M1. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if this is by... <laughs> let's see, does the author have uh, have an email address here? Level design copyright 90 1994 by Sean or Malloy. Yeah, that doesn't look like Jim... TN Tech, Tennessee Tech University. Part-time student, full-time lazy. So this is this is not, unless this is all just through a a pseudonym. This does not seem like it is Garfield creator Jim Davis. And yeah, let's just load that in and see what we get. This is from yeah, this is from 1995. So Doom 2 would have been out by this point, but I guess a lot of people were still making Doom 1 levels, including me. Okay, this is hippie.wad. Let's see what's uh, let's see what's hippie-ish about it. I see whoop. Alright, it's just an invisible wall there, demarcated by some candles. Um and I am going to turn off the music here just because heard the E1M1 music a, a trillion times. Oh god, okay. Okay. There's a giant spider mastermind in the middle area. Uh, every part of this level so far is full lighting. There's nothing... Yeah, I don't understand why... Why they gave me a, a light amp visor there. Okay, and there's like this narrow little series of of walkways here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. I hate Wednesdays, Garf Demon. Um, okay, yeah, this isn't, this isn't super great at the moment. Alright, I don't know if I was meant to kill that mastermind or what. Who is shooting me? Oh. 
I hit some kind of weird tele teleporter. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if pacifist runs of levels were a thing at this point. It doesn't seem easy, but it probably is possible to do a pacifist run. Yeah, so this is this is this is kind of this is kind of not great so far. I mean, we've got a relatively linear layout. I mean, I don't know. This layout, it, it's not super fancy. It's just big boxes. Um, I'm a little bummed that the author just didn't make this entire area outdoors. Because I, f I feel like putting... Who is shooting me? I think it's somebody like behind one of those walls or something. Yeah, my 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 plasma bolts are definitely going into that into that wall, but I don't know how to get in there. Yeah, if I if I could find a, a lasagna, some sort of lasagna, a health pickup perhaps. Okay, so candles are just demarcating everything here. Oh well, that would have been that would have been handy for. Okay. BFG would have been handy for taking down that spider demon, but whatever. I did it. And now there's a bunch of demons teleporting in. What up, demons? Okay. Yeah, this level has a, has a surprisingly uh, aimless feeling layout. Just because, like, you get to the to one end of this kind of squiggly hallway, and there's something, and then let's see, how do we get up there? All right, yeah, let's run up here. Okay, now I'm up here. This almost feels like a uh, a deathmatch level that was that just had some monsters thrown into it. Ah, whoever's doing that up there is annoying. Hmm. And yeah, I don't know if I've really made any... I don't... Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, because um, these, these one-way walls that you can shoot out from but people can't see you through them are definitely a common feature of mid-90s deathmatch levels, where if you knew the level, you could just sit behind these little secret hidey walls and shoot people with relative impunity, and they would just, you know, in, until they found where you were, then, yeah, you were just you were just stuck. Okay, I've now, yeah, I found all four secrets, and I've killed 34 monsters, and the exit switch for this was pretty... The exit switch for this was just like right there. So, so yeah, my my guess is that this is um, this wasn't in the deathmatch maps section, but this definitely seems like a deathmatch level that they threw some monsters into. Oh yeah, if I had read the readme a little bit more, just if I had just gone gone onto the second paragraph. I would have I would have discovered this. Well, that wasn't that wasn't that great. Might have been a mildly fun deathmatch level in in the mid 90s. But uh but yeah, those little those little hidey wall things where you hide behind them and just shoot out. That's that was it was a very I played many Doom deathmatch levels with those back in the day. Um okay, so hitting random again, we're on to Dormouse by Chris Wright. I don't know if I should know that name. Doom 2, map 1. May not run with chocolate doom. Alright, it's boom compatible. Yeah, well, there's no, there's nothing in the, there's nothing, there's no info about this map in the readme, other than that it's from 2010 and it's by Chris Wright. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's try out Dormouse. And just have a look in there and see if, uh... yep, okay. 
All right, let's give it a shot. And this is map one. Okay. So we're in a big open area. And there's like a little structure here. And kill this guy and take his shotgun. Same. Okay, so this is really quite a large area we've got here. Um, oh yeah, and let me see if... No. Alright, I was just checking if they had used a... If they had a poorly implemented sky... Sky mod, but no. They're using the vanilla... The vanilla sky, I suppose. I don't know much about that movie, but... Alright, I don't want that pain elemental just hanging out, just spawning more 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 lost souls, so take it out as well. Okay. So what's in here? A revenant. A super shotgun. Thank you very much. Alright. Um no Oh, I'm really hurt. I'm hurt quite badly. Hunt down some health here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I could have grabbed this armor. I was just running around like a goofus. Initial group of enemies out here isn't uh, isn't too bad. I wonder what I wonder what the title of the map Dormouse could refer to. I'm not seeing any any wee any wee creatures here. Oh, there's a, a spot for flying enemies to get stuck in back there. Hmm, yeah, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Is there a strawberry doom? Is there like a... a vanilla-derived doom port called strawberry doom? I'd try it out. It sounds tasty. Okay, I have a red key. Uh, does that mean I can go into here? Oh, jeez. Okay. Tangle with an arch vial there. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, this is kind of weirdly sparse. I mean, I like big outdoor areas, but there's not a whole lot to this one. Yeah, just let those guys fight it out. And here's another arch file. And nuts. Should be relatively easy to arrange some infighting here. Good, good. Hmm. Okay. All right. Is that really the end of the level? I guess so. Got him. Okay, uh, let's see, there's no secrets in this level. Great, now I'm down to, down to, down to basically nothing. And there are two enemies, okay, yeah, so it's just those two Hell Knights left in the level. Am I missing anything? Nope. Yep, that's all. 
That's all. Arjuna says, I wonder if this map would have worked better if it were half the area or if it were clever about separating out enemies and counters, if it were more clever about separating out enemies and counters. Is there a good guideline on making open spaces work in Doom? I thought I think there were, I remember a thread about this on the Doom World forums. Um, I vaguely remember that as well. Um, yeah, and I agree. Yeah, there's probably a, a number of things that they could have done to to make that big open area more interesting. Um, an anonymous reviewer says, "Fantastic little map. Not long or detailed, but challenging. Mostly just an open plane with some serious issues getting out." A couple of deviously placed arch files make your life a living hell. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's it's really... Uh, there's not a whole lot going on level layout-wise. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, probably the enemy placement was the best aspect of that. Because, like, they didn't... All the enemies didn't fall on me at once, you know? Or they didn't at least... They weren't all attacking me at once. So yeah, that that wasn't that wasn't bad. Um, it was just yeah, there just wasn't a whole lot to it. But uh, yeah, I don't know, making like a short. Yeah, and then like the the amount of space in that area was sort of disproportionate with the amount of stuff going on in it. I think so. It you know, even if the enemies were doing something interesting, it felt uh, it felt kind of sparse. All right, so random once more. Uh, Shalom, Welcome, or Farewell, Doom 2, by Elliot Passetti. Okay, this is from 1999. Oh, wait, it's from November 1995, actually? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, the date that Doom World lists as, as being the date a wad is from is not always its its published date so yeah we can take a look at that but um okay and there's some sort of there's a story going on here aliens invading you're a marine okay uh all right well yeah let's check out shalom 4 by elliot pacetti or pacetti yeah let's see what that's uh Um, oh yeah, the wad itself, it looks like it was uploaded in 99, whereas the wad itself is dated uh, November 29th, 1995. So, yeah. And how many maps are in this? Map 4, okay. Alright, let's check it out. Okay. Well... Little door where we came in. And some sort of computer room. Computers. Alright. Computer hallways. Oh! There's a secrety little door. Hmm. Okay. Nope. Dropped me down into something. Cool. All right. That was a good. That was a good little timing. That was for the super shotgun. Getting right into it here. Uh, yes, Planisphere is a very impressive super outdoor level. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, people have definitely made, like, there's a genre of Doom map that's basically like, I made an entire city. <laughs> and uh, those are always really fun to explore. It's, they frequently involve, like, one person on a forum, like, spending, like, multiple years just, you know building out painstakingly like all these buildings and stuff and uh, yeah those are that's a really cool and impressive type of mapping I 
forget the one. There's one city map that has like a ton of interactive stuff that's done with uh, with Z Doom with various Z Doom features. Okay, there's a lot of hit scanners in there. I am going to get picked apart if I. Whoa, cool! That that Kako just jibbed that guy. That is a that is a fairly rare occurrence. Uh, for a Cacodemon to, to jib somebody. Oh, jeez. I'm playing this game badly, because I guess I'm trying to talk as well. And I am not currently capable of doing both at the same time. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I've already been through all of this before. Kind of want to take care of everything out in these ring hallways before I try to to get into this room. really is a truly large number of, of little gun havers in, in that room. Hi there. Yeah, welcome and cool. It's cool to hear that somebody is uh, is starting to play is starting to play Doom for the first time. All right, so yeah, this um, that ringed hallway space uh, suffers from some of the symmetry problems that we've talked about. You know, like we've got like you know this concentric hallway thing is concentric rings are cool, but when I can't tell whether I'm at you know which which number of the clock that I'm on, that's kind of annoying. And. Wait, how do I open this this door here? How do I get back in there? Boo. Oh. Well, hello. All right. It's an arch file in a in a not super difficult to deal with area. Okay. Hmm. Nope, don't want to go back in here. And yeah, the north side of this ring is where I came in. How do I get back in here? Do I... Do I have to attack it? What's the deal? There's a little secret. And yeah, it's just uh, it's just the exit, I guess. Am I done here? I might be done here. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. How many enemies? There's one secret left, and I haven't found eight enemies. I wonder... Yeah, I wonder what I'm missing. I guess this is just another tiny little level. Huh. Well... Yeah, um, I mean, if that if that's a nineteen if that's a late nineteen ninety five map, uh, it's not the worst. Yeah, I guess that was UAC Outpost Nine. Um, anonymous reviewer says it's okay, but nothing special. It seems to be building up to a big final battle, but then in rather an anticlimax, you were presented with the exit. Yeah, no, that's exactly that was my read on it as well. Cool. All right. Well. Let's hit random file again. We're really going. We're playing. We're getting a bunch of uh, of really short uh, things here. Okay, and now we have hit random, and we've ended up with Memento Mori, uh, which is a famous megawad from 1996. Uh, it's in the themes directory, but I'm pretty sure this is the real Memento Mori. 
Um, okay, well, yeah, I guess, I mean, this came up. Uh, I'm not going to say no to playing Memento Mori. So, yeah, let's just play... Let's just play the first few levels or something of Memento Mori, the famous Megavod. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I mean, this is a full 32-level thing. It's got its own graphics and all that kind of stuff. Where are the... Are the authors here? 21 of the best wad creators in the world. Yeah, so yeah, this there's a lot of people who a lot of people worked on these maps. Um, Memento Mori, let's see, this is MM MM all up. Okay. And, yeah, here we go. Here's the authors. All right, so, yeah, the first few levels... Well, there's, yeah, it's it's uh, there's definitely sort of a who's who here. Uh, Dennis Muller and Michelle Rudding. David Davidson. Tom Mustaine, of course, who, you know, helped, was a founder of Ritual and worked on, you know, did, did some stuff on TNT and the Master Levels. Jens Nielsen, Oren Flaherty, Eric Sargent... Jens Nielsen. Uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely recognize a lot of these names as... Uh, I forget. Yeah, okay, there's two maps by the Casali brothers, deeper in. Um, Mark Clem, that name also rings a bell. So yeah, just tons of well-known authors. All, all those likely dead email addresses. Yeah, it's totally true. Like, people in the 90s, like in the mid-90s, uh, probably very few people still have the same email address that they had back in 1996. I'm sure some do, but uh, maybe they're all tenured professors or something. Anyway, let's jump in. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got our own little little title graphic here, and yeah, let me turn the. Uh, yeah, I'll turn the turn the music up here, and yeah, I thought Memento Mori had also had a its own status bar replacement, but maybe not. Um, and this might not actually be like the final ultimate released version of it, because some of these mega wads, like the authors, came back and issued some uh, issued an update like a few years later. So I don't know. It's possible that it's not Memento Mori with all the fixins. But, uh, but this was a relatively early Megawad. I mean, yeah, that from the first year of Megawads being a thing, basically. Um, I really dig, uh, so I mean, you know, like typical Doom pentagram stuff, but I like that the, I like the, the use of scrolling textures along here to make it feel a little uneasy. Like, I, I can only imagine what this would have looked like. Can I simulate what this would have looked like in, uh, let's see, f scale factor. Yeah, I mean, this isn't quite giving the same appearance. This is still way higher res than the 320 by 200. But, um, yeah, anyway. Um, it looks cool. Okay, yeah, and then we walk in, and there's a secret here. And that's kind of weird. Putting a secret just right on the critical path like that. Um, and yeah, this, this, uh, this style of texturing feels really different from anything that you would have played... Uh, in a in an id map or even an id uh, an officially released map from you know from the the final doom folks or master levels or whatever um, there was kind of an established id style and what a lot of these early megawads did was uh, try different things out and either through custom textures or just unique texturing and level geometry styles um, you know just building their own kind of vocabulary uh, and that was super exciting to see. Um, I didn't really play any Mega Wads until the, the the era of the Doom Source ports started around '98 or '99. But uh, yeah, people were doing this stuff really early on. And I haven't been playing very carefully, so I'm getting I'm getting pretty chewed up. But yeah, so yeah, this was a weird room. Like I went in here, yeah, and I hit that switch. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. And now, yeah. Now, in this, 
Now this area has opened up a whole bunch, and yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get owned here if I'm not if I'm not careful. Oh, hmm. Okay. All right, yeah, this is this is gonna hurt. Yeah, I shouldn't have quick saved with that little health. Bad quick saving hygiene. Uh, no, this is the uh, I always play with ad lib ep OPL two uh, music just because that's how I that's how I remember it. I like the way it sounds, even though it probably sounds cheesy to a lot of ears, especially anybody anybody who played with a Gravis ultrasound back in the day probably uh, probably hates it, but Okay, alright, so yeah, some walls have come down oh jeez. Some walls have come down in that initial area we were in. And now Alright, I managed to grab a little bit more health here, so... And there it goes. Yeah. Yeah, I was totally living life on the edge and not just playing sloppily and inattentively. One of the things that impressed me most about uh, watching Awesome Games Done Quick this year was how cohesively uh, these runners are able to talk. Like, the people doing the run how cohesively they're able to talk while they're playing at... I mean, I, I guess what they have that I don't in this case... Well, they have many things that I don't, including incredible skill and determination and etc. But I guess they've practiced that run, specifically doing that thing, as opposed to, like, improvising in, in a level that you've never seen before or have, you know, haven't seen in many years and only played once. Um, okay, a lot of hit scanners out there, but yeah, like that the 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 guy doing the Zelda Breath of the Wild run right at the end uh, of AGDQ, yeah, was just like giving these like very detailed explanations of like what he was doing and how it worked and all that stuff, and it it was awesome. But uh, man, doing that while doing these feats of skill, I mean, I think it just goes to show the practice that they put into it, so that you know the muscle memory is just so is just so solid that they can just do that, you know? Their brain, their talking brain is not occupied in any way. So my hat's off to them. And I'm sorry that I cannot provide you with such a high standard of playing, but we're getting random random stuff. Totally random stuff, so I've got that for you. And yeah, it is cool too. I was wondering when we were going to hit upon a classic 90s megawad in Wad Wednesdays, and, and here we are. Well, let's see, that's probably a mistake. Uh, okay, yeah, I really did find everything here, didn't I? So this puts me going into the next level without very much health at all. But I guess I'll deal with it. Yes, Adlib does give the Sega Genesis feel a bit because uh, they were both uh, they were semi-related sound chips. Uh, you know, they were both op FM synthesis chips, both by Yamaha. I think the I think hardware-wise, I think the Genesis uh, FM synth chip was more advanced than the Adlibs, um, just because I think the Adlibs predates it. Pre the Adlib sound card predates the uh, the Genesis by a couple of years. Anyway, yeah, that end level screen is pretty is pretty great. The red skulls. Oh yeah, and this is a uh, this little red cross type texture here, and yeah, we're seeing definitely some of the custom textures that they put into this and this very detailed archway. Like in the level editors of 1995 and six, this would have been kind of a pain to pull off and get all your textures aligned and stuff, but they sure did it. Um, okay. Yeah, and some of these textures feel like sort of heretic and hexen themed, even though I don't think they are. They're definitely not from there. Um. Alright. This 
level definitely has a more low-key, spooky kind of feel to it. We're going through these dim corridors. Good little lighting spill. Always love a good lighting spill. Yeah, this actually feels this feels like a like institutional tiling kind of. It's like a grin a grungy shower or something. All right, we're we're staying on top of things in terms of health, but anyway, you know, we've got plenty of ammo. Interesting to see how ammo budgeting philosophies have changed over the years, because uh, the old, a lot of old stuff, even stuff that's considered like difficult old, like uh, I don't know what, like Alien Vendetta or something, um, they're pretty generous with the ammo. And I don't know if that was because they were expecting that some people were still playing with numpad, you know, in circa '96. Jeez, and now I'm down to six health again, uh, or what? But, uh, whereas, from a modern standpoint, um, one, one, one map set that I've always, that I've, ever since I played it, like, first played it eight years ago, I've always considered to have, like, a really good ammo balance is, uh, No Rest for the Living, actually, uh, that came with the Xbox 360 version of Doom, of Doom 2. Um, like, yeah, they they don't just drown you in shotgun ammo, so you actually end up pulling out your other weapons, even if when you want to use a shotgun. So, th And I think that's cool. Um, and yeah, it's just really nicely budgeted throughout. Uh, ugh, God, why did I save? Let's see, can I go in here? Yeah, okay, I've got the, I've got the yellow key. All right, and here I'm shooting into that area where I was before. They're giving me plenty of armor, but being pretty skimpy with the health. All right, now what do I do with a blue key? Oh yeah, it's back in here. Ooh, yeah, we've got sort of a marble with a water floor. Water floor is always an interesting choice when it's not explicitly like just natural terrain. Because it's like, are you saying that this is, like, flooded? Are these, like, flooded... Flooded tunnels, or or, or what? I, you know, I kind of imagine that you're always waiting in that kind of texture. Um, yeah, I mean, E4M... E4M1... Well, abs oh, God! Forgot about that. Um... E4M1 absolutely makes you ration every single bullet. Uh, and E4M2 doesn't let up, so yeah, like Ultimate Doom, yeah, I mean, it, it ends up having a relatively modern feeling, high difficulty ammo budgeting, but it's pretty brutal in, in kind of some unique ways. Uh, and then the rest of the pat, and then the rest of Episode 4 is actually pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, here's another big dramatic light spill coming from our little our old buddy, the medium tech lamp. Okay, so now I've got all the keys, and where am I supposed to go again? I'm gonna go in here and collect this goodie. Something opened up. It was demons. We've not yet been given the super shotgun. Oh, we got demons coming in from multiple directions here. take us down to the exit? I think it does. Oh yeah. That little uh, that little little arrow made of light in the floor there pointing us to the way forward. Oh cool, yeah. And there, there's there's a custom sky. It looks like it's based on the mountains from the uh, from the episode from the Doom episode 2 sky which is from Mount Zion National Park, I think. It's one of those old stock photos that they turned into a... into a skybox. Okay. Oh, now 
we're back here. Ah, all right, we did sort of a loop. And yeah, where's the exit to this? Am I just doubling back pointlessly here? I might, I kind of might be. Yep, that's where I got the key. That just opened up the demon doors. Yeah. Hmm. Weird, I have, there's eight enemies left in here. This is the only way through. Yeah, that is a weird... I forget how you do those insta-lifts. They are definitely a vanilla feature, but... Um, oh! Oh, okay, here we go. All right. I uh, I really dig this, this, this Geo thing here. Like, it creates a cool lighting pattern on the floor, and it just looks cool. Like, it, it works quite well with that high-frequency texture. Um... Yeah, good work. Um, you know, I think it might just be that, uh, I think maybe they didn't use a dehacked patch, uh, to rename the levels, or it's not loading properly. Um, they might show up, I forget if people were doing different title picks. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, if you see, it's it's covered up by the chat, but we can see like up at the up at the top part of the screen that that map was the bridge by David Davidson. And yeah, that's another megawad thing is like putting, just baking the author's name into the title into the map beneath the map name in the title pick, uh, which is like a custom graphic that you put into the wad. Um, cool. All right, map three. Cool. Yeah, I dig that sky. Uh, yeah, this is definitely using like the Doom 2 Episode 1 uh, first section or whatever you want to call it. Uh, textures. Okay. Hmm. Oh, goodness. Demons. Okay. This also feels somewhat similar to TNT map one. First level of Final Doom. Sort of. We'll see where it goes. Uh, yeah, like, I played this so long ago that my memory is not going to be very useful here. Like, if there's a cool secret or something that, that I'm just flying past that would be worth checking out, then let me know. That's a cool... Wow, okay, that's a staircase that comes down and just reveals a whole little hidden room. That's a... That's clever. Alright, now we've got the blue key. We can go down here. These little courtyard type areas. Oh yeah, I need the yellow key. Let's see. Can I get out here or oh yeah, maybe what if I get onto here? Yep. I knew that that would be a secret. This is this is actually sort of a callback to the uh to the Doom 2 map 1 secret where, you know, you like fling yourself off a ledge and land on one of these little platforms and as soon as you cross that a secret nearby opens up. Can I just bring that down or kind of makes me wonder about like what Oh yeah, okay, now I can get in here. Cool. And there's the yellow key. Can I get out here, or... I mean, it doesn't matter that much, because... Yeah. Yeah, cool. 
That was Interlock by Tom Mustaine. Oh, okay, yeah, that also kind of explains the, the style. Um, yeah, and I guess that would have been after Tom Mustaine did his contributions to the Master Levels and TNT. Oh boy. This level I do remember a little more clearly. I think. Uh, but yeah, there's a big open area here. Just a whole lot, whole lot of baddies. Yeah, this courtyard here was pretty manageable, all, all things considered. I guess they're just kind of like sectioned off and like a lot of the windows the yeah the windows really control their lines of lines of sight sure I'll chainsaw you Definitely ready for the super shotgun. Oh, jeez. That wasn't smart. That wasn't smart at all. Just scoop up these little stim packs here. Every little bit. Every little bit counts. Yeah, map geometry wise there's there's a sophistication here that you don't that that is not necessarily present in uh in any of the the id maps. People just got better and better at, at making fancy stuff. Let's see, how do I get up here? This is all like vaguely familiar to me. Yeah, let's down oh okay, yeah, that's right. Go up here. Oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. The level designer has decided that it is puzzle time. Yeah, I wonder what's in there. All right, well, let's carry on here and see what we can find. All right, this is just a hallway with some dudes that we took out. Hmm, okay, yeah, we've now done like a complete circuit here. What does this teleport us to? A little room. Oh, ho. <laughs> A little doom jumping challenge there. It's puzzle time. Okay, now we've come out here. Yep. I honestly do not know how to get either that super shotgun or... The other thing. Let's see, where's a we have the blue key now. Where's a where's a blue door? Go up these little stairs. Yeesh. High up. I mean I think level designers in this day, in this era, were not definitely not counting on you being able to I mean, well, yeah, they they definitely weren't counting on you to be able to look up and down, or even on mouse look, necessarily. Okay. Nice 
could get interesting. Got imps drifting in from one little, from one stretch of the hallway. And then this hell knight that's kind of blocking my way. That was kind of a cool little tension there. Uh, yeah, I'm digging. I'm digging the, the sort of indoor-outdoor interplay here. That always feels cool. We're always in or looking into uh, exposed courtyard-type areas, and the ways that we move along those are uh, are kind of modulated, interestingly. Uh, okay, yeah, what do we do here? Oh, jeez. I did not mean to fall down there. Okay, we're down here. Secret. Ah, yes, okay. We're, we're up at the top of... We're on the... The top level of that space that we were in before. I think I can get across there. Nope. It may in fact be possible, but I I failed. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. This goes down into here. Okay. That thing is opening up now. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely not not giving you any cover while you're in that room. Okay, so where am I supposed to go here? guys over there. Um, it's a little disorienting, you know, it definitely makes the makes the level a little more challenging to navigate with um, when they teleport you, you don't know where you're going to be on this in this perimeter. So you kind of have to re-establish re, re your bearings. Okay, I don't think I've been down here before. Yeah, alright. Hello. Okay. In pretty close with that, with that hell knight. Okay, and we can't do anything here yet until we get the red key. I can kind of walk along the edges here, hop into that. Nope. Can't get in there. Can't get in there. One of these little. Uh, okay, yeah, I've been in there. Hmm. Yeah, these all kind of lead back to the same spot. I've been there. What did that do? Hmm. 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 Oh. Oh. Okay. That opened up that. Okay. All right. So maybe if I run around here now, then no, it won't. But yeah, I think I've, I think I've grasped the. That opens that up. Oh, and it opens up that as well. Damn. Okay. Uh. Once again, it is puzzle time. Okay, so that opens that, and what am I seeing? Okay, I have not... I'm seeing into areas that I have just not been into before. Um, I have been... Let's see... I don't think I can make it back, back here in time. Yeah, that, that doesn't look intended, but... 
Hmm. Yeah, so I can't really get in... I mean, and this also seems like it's... It's not saying that I need a red key. I need a red key to, to activate that. God, yeah, this is weird. I don't know... Have I been in here yet? Yes, I have. There's really only... There's really only a couple of spots here. Hmm... Hmm, hmm. I'm kind of stumped here. Sort of a nice interplay. Uh, and yeah, I can get I can get down there, but I don't think that does me any good. Well, let's go back out here and... I, yeah, I still don't have the yellow key. Yeah, what's down this way? The health is welcome. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's right. This whole area with the with the super shotgun and all that, but I don't think it pertains very much to. Uh, oh, okay, that's a secret. Yep. Three out of six secrets we found. I don't I don't understand how that puzzle is supposed to work. You hit the switch in there, but hmm. And then there's no other way up. get that yellow key. Uh, I am stumped. I honestly do not know where I should be going or what I should be doing. Ugh. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just have no idea how to uh, how to get how to get into these other areas that I can see into. Um, well, it is almost eight, so I do want to I do want to finish up. I would love to finish this map before we uh, before we continue on, but
Yeah, this is pretty obtuse. I mean, like, am I missing something here? And I can get back into that initial area that way, but who cares? I can teleport to here, and now I'm now I'm in this little stretch. Oh. This must just be a secret, though. Cool, you know, I'll take it, but uh. Hmm. Yeah, I just can't figure out how to get how to get in there. Yep. Can't do anything with that. Can't get back up there now, and I need the red key. Do you have to walk along the little ledge when you hit the switch? I don't know. I mean, these little ledges, like, they basically can get me... I think the main point of these little ledges is to get you from point to point, like, to get you to these little teleporters without having to run through the nukage and take damage. Um, that is an area that opens up, the bars open when I hit the switch. Um, but, you know, the little walkways along the wall there don't join up to anything. So, I'm really not sure, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, that's a bummer. It, it kind of stinks that, uh, I mean, this this map is otherwise cool, but, like, it's got these, like, really in, inscrutable, like, traversal little challenges here, and I was fine with that being just on the, uh, you know, you can get the secret, the super shotgun early if you do one. That That seemed fine. Whereas this seems to be part of the critical path. So either something's broken, or I've missed something really obvious, or I don't know. But yeah, I think I'm gonna yeah, it's 8:02. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, but yeah, this was this was maps one through f through four of Memento Mori, a a famous Doom 2 megawad from back in the day. Yeah. Um, Okay, well, cool. Yeah, we played a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, those first few maps were a little basic, but we warmed up, and yeah, now we're on Memento Mori. And yeah, you can definitely read more about Memento Mori on the Doom Wiki at doomwiki.org. Uh, but yeah, um, cool. Well, it's good to be back into the swing of things for Wad Wednesday here. Uh, plan, I'm glad that everything, the streaming and net connection and stuff worked fine. So, yeah, I guess I'll see y'all. Thank you thank you very much for watching, and I will see y'all uh, next week for another Wad Wednesday. Have a, have a lovely week and all. And, yeah, thank you so much for, for watching. All right, bye-bye.